The Biden administration is struggling to find its place in resolving the auto workers' strike, which entered its fifth day Tuesday. Three sources tell Reuters it is hobbled by a lack of legal authority to steer the talks and difficulty in figuring out United Auto Workers President Sean Fain's negotiating strategy and leadership style. The Biden White House is having discussions about ways to blunt any economic fallout from a full walkout, the sources said. U.S. officials acknowledge they have a limited role to play in talks between General Motors, Ford and Chrysler-owned Stellantis and the union. The White House has started an interagency process to study the economic implications of the strike, with a focus on workers, according to another source. It and the administration have discussed mitigation efforts in the event of a full work stoppage, not in response to the actions taken by the union currently. White House spokesperson Robin Patterson said no decision has been made on offering aid or measures to lessen the economic impact on affected workers. Members of the administration are also talking with auto suppliers and Michigan lawmakers about ways to limit the impact of the strike. On Friday, Biden sided clearly with the union, telling automakers to concede more to workers who walked off the job at Detroit's largest car companies and share record profits fairly. But he was rebuked by UAW's Fain, who said this battle is not about the president.